My name is Hunter Robart and today I'm going to be discussing if the K-12 through system needs to support kids and their mental health. The K-12 through system, um, public school system today, I think in my opinion fails students in so many ways. I'm not going to get into all of that today because there would be a long list, but I am going to talk about one of the biggest, which I think is the lack of attention to mental health. I just think most adults either don't realize the amount of mental health um, that's being harmed a lot of times in school that the students go through or they just neglect it. But today, as a society, it seems mental health is starting to be talked about more and provided about more. Not as much as most people would like, but we're getting there. However, you don't really see that much growth in the K through 12 school system. And that's weird because schools can be so stressful and emotional for practically every student. And it just gets worse as you get older. From overwhelming homework, the pressure to succeed, maybe if you're not succeeding, the feeling of failure, the need to fit in with your fellow classmates or be popular, being bullied can affect mental health so much and that's a common thing in school. And uh, so much more. <laughs> Students' and emotional health is just affected so often in school, but it's not touched upon. And from listening to many of my peers' stories throughout the years, talking to different people, I've realized that most students actually have some kind of either traumatic event that they think about to this day that hurts them, or just terrible experiences or feelings that happen to them in school that affect them, even if it was from first grade all the way now. I've heard kids talk about them being bullied. So many kids I talked about in high school talked about at one point that they were bullied. I think almost every kid was bullied at some point. The feeling lonely, feeling stressed, oh my God. In high school, almost every person I knew felt so stressed. And it's not just like, oh, I'm so stressed, I've got a homework. You could actually see it build up on them. And I had stories of people who they were up all night from stress and just did not get an hour of sleep, even if they had all their assignments done because they were so stressed about the next day and everything they had just done. I also have heard so many stories about kids being depressed and so much more. And really it's a rare thing for someone in the public school system to not be dealing with some kind of thing. And even if they say they're perfectly fine, I guarantee you at some point they were not, you know? Yet most schools don't really discuss mental health. You might have one little week where you talk about it, or it might get mentioned here or there, or a counselor might have a seminar, a lecture and say, hey, I'm here for you. You can come to me whenever you need. If you need to talk about something, if you're going through something, come to me. The thing about that is it never feels trustworthy. And a lot of times these counselors are not as educated in the specific requirement that these students need. They need real therapists in the category that they're doing, whether that's anxiety, bullying, stress, they don't need someone who isn't going to be as able to help them like most high school counselors or most high school counselors mainly deal with just college and getting you into it. But in reality, if you fix someone's mental health, it's going to cause them to be more productive and more able to go and take that next step, whether that's a profession or, or going to college but it's not talked about, it's not discussed, and it's really not provided support for, which I just think is crazy. Because as a society, if we're increasing support, why don't we do that to our kids? But I think most people just think, oh, they're kids, they're fun, they're having fun, they're young, there's nothing to be worried about. But in reality, that's not true. There's so much pressure put on you today as a child. There's so much pressure to get those grades, to do all of these things. And it just adds up to where you're stuck, left exhausted and emotionally, um, sometimes depressed, but you just have to keep going. You either keep going or you fail. And I've seen kids who it's just been too much and then their grades drop. They stop doing homework for a month or two. And sometimes it can be really hard to get out of that state. And the kids who make it out are really lucky. The kids who make it out of the K through 12 and aren't scarred in some way are lucky, but 
almost everyone has some kind of traumatic experience that's helped them. And I think the real question, um, question nowadays most people think is, is not will my child have some level of mental health crisis? It's not will it happen, it's how much is it gonna happen? Every child is pretty much gonna have something happen to them or some kind of pressure that's gonna dwindle on their mental health. And it's just a matter of how much and that shouldn't be the case. We should be dealing with this and providing support to make students feel safe, protected and way less stressed.